Hey guys, Goose and Gamer here, and we're back for season two of um, what's this game called? From the Depths, and we're well, we're not going to load. I've tried doing this three times already, and each one to no effect. I, I failed each time. We're going to run at about twenty-eight thousand uh, blocks spawned at once. That should be a comfortable medium ground for me. Hopefully, my system can run it. Uh, first things first, we're going to go ahead and, let's see, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, well, why delete it like that when I can just go over here, hit scrap it, destroy, and if I go down to constructibles, struct, uh, not structure vehicle, oh, I was trying to back out of it. Alright, we'll go ahead and grab it. Turn it on. Alright, and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll change this out. Throw the mirror line on. Seven, eight. Good. Alright. Fill. That kind of looks derpish. Let's kind of have a sweep in to the back. Maybe not. Maybe that kind of looks kind of looks normal. Okay, what we'll do is now. Actually, I'll build on top of this. Okay. What this can help me accomplish is I can just kind of delete the layer below or keep it. That can be the bottom. I'll kind of expand this one out a bit. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, okay. Boom. Yeah, that kind of looks normal. I see that loosely. I think the engine on the fortress is struggling a little. Okay, and here I can go ahead and scoot back a little. I will go into engines, engine block. If it doesn't lag like it normally does, that'd be great. Hopefully it doesn't end the recording like it has been for the past two or three tries. Come on. There we go. Every time I'm wary. Two of these should be sufficient. Alright, and I bump this out. I think right there I'll have the uh, the rudder kind of give it some movement. I am not the best designer of things. That is very apparent right now. Let's see, we'll go up one more.
Yeah, this is this is atrocious. But that would give us a kind of flat base to work with. And what we'll do is round about here, we'll go to blocks, lead blocks. Oh yeah, it's being held. Oh, I may not be building this the proper direction. Oh no. It's completely the wrong direction. Okay. There's an easy way to fix this. I say that very loosely. Go ahead and we'll go right there. We'll expand the width to the entire ship. Okay, we'll expand it in every direction. Just a little extra. Now we're going to destroy that, just so I can rotate it around. Uh, build prefabs, not prefabs, constructibles. Ugh, I hate doing that. That's why I don't design things. Okay, right here, prefabs, this one, uh, that's the center, okay, I think it's facing the proper way now, let's use a normal block. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Or, wait, is it? Yes, that is good. Okay, now we will go into water, rudder, right there we'll have one, just to kind of make it move a little easier, and we'll put that on as well. Okay, we'll put a propeller here, here, I'm not sure where is underwater, God, that doesn't actually bring it down that much. This thing's very buoyant. Jeez, okay. Uh, let's put the mirror line on. I guess I'll replace this top with uh, metal. At least the top will be very... I can't fill. Okay, that's kind of good. Still not sinking. That's worrisome. Maybe I'll leave right here for metal. 
actual metal. That one's not symmetrical. That's good. It's kind of si sinking now. Don't want it to sink too much for in the front. How much does it cost? 30? Jesus. Actually, we might want to keep it like that. Let's go ahead and get the miscellaneous, no, control, chair. Uh, let's get 10 more metal, please. I really want this to be a slightly productive episode, but I don't want to start, like, keep uh, doing what I've been doing and just using other people's vehicles. Okay. I don't know how well of a machine this is. Okay, it is just a little too top heavy. Let's put that there. Okay. Jeez. This thing is very heavy. Or front heavy. Getting better. This fin might help it be stable more. Okay, now we're gonna go into not hydrofoil. I learned my mistake from that. Hopefully, I don't have to ever show that video. Um. How fast is this? General physics velocity. That is not that fast. And I should be at top speed. Okay. Let's pick these up. And I was hoping to be able to place two of these. What am I missing? I'm not missing anything. Oh, jeez, these things use a hundred metal? That is absurd. How much is one of these? If I get rid of enough of these small ones, I could make it. That's a little better. I'm not quite sure how well this thing steers from side to side yet but I'm almost a hundred percent sure this thing now runs a lot better oh uh, yeah it's a, it's a thousand times better that will just help it turn that much faster. Let's 
who's seeing how I am contemplating throwing another one on here right there should be a perfect spot and because it's gonna bug me blocks let's look get not that one uh, the opposite actually that's not bad let's look at a tiny inverted one ah that's much better kinda Now, I don't know if, I mean, it might be an actual factor. Maybe if I kind of make this look like it would cut the water, it'd be better. I'll use the two meter upslopes. I should probably throw the mirror line back on. Kind of looks like it would cut the water a little better. I mean, just a little. It's very versatile. Okay. I know it's good to have a resource gatherer, but I don't really want that resource gatherer. So I'm going to get a blueprint spawner to start things off. And over here on the opposite side, I'm going to have that. I don't have the crystal for that quite yet. But I should in just a moment. There we go. Okay, now what I'm going to do is because you can now apparently load constructibles. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go all the way down to my resource gatherer that I made in last season. And this should build it. Okay. That'll get that built. All right. Okay, there goes the turbine engine. Let's see. Oh, it's moving from us. We're okay. Let's just hope we never have to reverse this machine. Okay. If I can repair at least one of the repair bots, maybe it will uh, get get running on that. Let's take a look at the map real quick. Resource zone one force aside from the three that are there. 
That's not too far away. Okay. We will send something after that later. I don't think I can send this because it hasn't reached top speed or something. Actually what I am going to do is I'm going to go into water. I'm going to put the huge propeller on. kind of cuts into the water a little. What I can do is put an air pump in the front, like inside. Yeah, that's a lot better. Just barely clipping into the water. Because I don't have an AI in it yet, it won't automatically go there because I said so. We'll go ahead and try and alleviate this force. Why is no music playing? Let's hit plus. Should have started playing music. Okay, I'll go ahead and warp to the vehicle and play it. I don't have weapons on this. Let's go ahead and go down to small weapons. short work of these guys. I'm probably going to mount a um, laser at the front end of this for too long. Because lasers are the way to go. Okay, that thing is now destroyed. Instantly prepared. That's decimated. And that's decimated. I've never used a ram before, and this is very effective. series of ramming should destroy this. Okay, let's go ahead and go into first person. the Kraken in the head and get to the ammo barrels. Okay, that, that was death. We'll go ahead and go back to the flagship. Sadly, I can't fast forward through this and I can't even make it come into play.
It's okay though. I will. I thought I was going to. Let's go ahead and hit that button. Okay, I just shot my ship. Now with the new campaign mode, you actually, by destroying the AI, you take control of the ship. So that makes things a lot easier, but I wish it was evened out to where if the enemy happens to get onto your ship, because there are enemy NPCs, uh, if they get onto your ship, I wish it would make it to where they could actually take control of you, or your, your ship that's in that in play at that moment. Let's see, that's not nearly enough stuff to get started with the AI. Well, actually it might be. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put an AI. Actually, we might have the room down below. Do. do is we're gonna go like that, get the front and back slots, two of them, we're gonna put tracker, aim point, target pri prioritization, navy AI, Also in the bay, right here, next to the engine, we're going to go into miscellaneous and we'll go ahead and put a repair bot on either side, just to help me with repairs a little bit. Okay, now we're going to go into small weapons. Um, I don't necessarily have the engine for a drill. I don't even have ammo on here. The rams are pretty nice. The, yeah, I think I'll go with the drill. I've never made a drill before. Let's go ahead and lock orientation. Let's get the drill extension. Actually, I think we need the vertical. There we go. Actually, now we probably need a horizontal or vertical. Okay. Now, not that the drill extension. Horizontal splitter. We'll throw a mirror on just to make things a little easier. Have one face. Oh, okay. Uh, what? Something got destroyed for no apparent reason. Yeah, there's rams still here, well, mostly. Apparently I got rid of the middle one and it kind of spazzed out on me. Alright, horizontal splitter. Drill extension. And then we'll go ahead and we'll have another vertical. Uh, 
we'll have a no that won't work this is connected directly all the way down connected everything's connected okay good Power inputs and we put amplifiers. Oh, great, I fell off my boat. Let's go ahead and warp to it. Actually, fairly certain I don't need an AI control on here. Having the AI on here, however, will make it easier just as far as selecting and all that jazz. Let's see. It's not very fast. I guess I need more work amplifiers and don't spin speed of six that's not bad I'm not gonna complain too bad about that um now we'll go back into blocks wood block and we'll have a little down slope there we go alright now we'll pull this we'll go ahead and test out our new design by quickly fast traveling over to here top speed went out of flight that is Kraken should have been destroyed. Wait, what vehicle is this? Vehicle plus one. Okay, that bugs me. Bring it into play. We'll jump onto it. That also needs to be removed. Alright. back heavy I'm guessing it's weird uh, let's probably remove one of these by one I guess I meant three Nice and good. Now its new speed is much better. And it moves at a speed of 13. That's not bad. I think the, uh, the fastest unit I've ever had on my side was the Phoenix. And that thing was, oh my god, it was so fast. Let's go ahead and move over to here. Or click to pursue. Pull it into play and we'll go ahead and jump down. I'll scroll off my, uh, whatchamacallit. We'll go ahead and do this in first person. Okay, those are heating up. Okay, go ahead and kite to the side a little. 
Now, sadly, I don't think these are going to be very good test subjects. Not until we're up against like a Atlas or um, even their paddle boats. Those, uh, the things that are a lot bigger vessels. These little Vipers, I mean, a little Ram. One very, very well placed Ram destroyed it. I'm actually not bad at dodging. And I didn't get hit right after saying that, so I'm already better. Go ahead and hit this guy. Laundry's done. Yay! I accidentally held on to the G key too long. wanted to actually make sure these things worked because it's not a conventional weapon so I don't think I can actively control it on a control group and destroyed and I gotta repair those now Starting to think a much bigger vessel would be better. I wonder if on here, if I can place the simple weapons drill power amplifiers. The drill or power inputs. Okay, so that means I'm going to have to actually build a vessel with these in mind if I want to use it. Which for now it's not half bad. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put a uh, ammo barrels in here. That way I can go ahead and get a actual main going. Let's go ahead. I took it off and now we'll put it right back on. that on, let me not look for weapon controller, let me put the transmitter on here, let me keep that in, it's not that but a six-way connector in front, then I grab a transmitter, one ammo barrel is not nearly enough. I don't want to have too many of those. They have to be touching for a fact, but I don't think it's going to hurt. I'm going to get the wireless receiver. Put a fail safe. Simple weapons. Um,
sadly those need to be targeting something. Let's go ahead and try and take out another resource zone. Actually, that being said, I probably need to go over here. That machine is not at full capacity, and something is en route. Okay, take you out. You know, just as a little special dinner date. Not really. <coughs> put it into play right now. And I appear to be underwater. And I've I've won. Okay. I emerge from the depths, literally. Okay, I think I'm gonna need more of these. Alright, let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's go attack these guys. I don't know what that does, toggling that. <sighs> okay, what happened? I guess it goes off of the... okay. Never had to use it before, so this is gonna be interesting. Uh, Z. Not is that implemented yet? Currently does nothing. Yay! Unlock the skill. Put it on seven. wasn't back that needed to be back heavy is no longer needing it. or not
Uh, this is the thing about making your own ships. You have to test them and make sure they're okay. This one obviously isn't. And now because of removing those two, it's going to be all haywire. actually kind of stable. Alright, pull away, 10 times speed. This will probably have to be the last uh, fight for the recording. If we're lucky. Okay, what we'll do is we'll pursue this one. Actually, let's kind of kite around a little. And then pursue. Maybe this won't be a Kraken, but I'm pretty sure it will be. And the other one is now in play as well. Or pretty close to it. And I spawn underwater. Come on. Okay. I have made a submarine inadvertently. I mean, I'm not going to complain about making something accidentally, but I prefer it being intentional. The other enemy isn't here yet. Tempted to just spawn something that's not this. But I really want to test these weapons out as well. And I don't want to be the one to shoot. Now, is it the Kraken? It is the Kraken. Well, I guess in this case, seeing how it does this. Let's get some hydrofoils. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Nothing like chasing after your own sub. trying to avoid it, it's weird. Okay, very unconventional. Okay, let's kind of reverse. Ok, 
Okay. I also think I found the issue. That's better. Alright, let's just turn slightly. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to be in control. This is so slow. repairing it as fast as I can do it, the damage. Okay, well we're probably about to get rid of the things that are making it where I can't do anything. Ah, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Okay. I think what I will have. Uh, I'm pretty sure that thing is way too big. Um, you can't get to laser yet. We can do this, but let's get it on a constructibles 360 turret precision. Not sure which way is front on this. Um. Okay, it's good. Let's go ahead and go on to constructibles, precision. Uh, prefabs. Okay. Let's kind of just give it a base first. Oh, okay, okay. That's how I am doing things now, apparently. Oh, wow, well, okay, that's quite the boost. And now I'm at the bottom, and then I was at the top, and I can't decide where my character wants to be. I don't really want to take control of this. But it's the best option because I can easily just scrap it. No, not mine. is a lot harder to come by now, I guess. No, you will not repair that. This thing will be destroyed. Destroy. Okay, I placed that wrong. Prefabs. Uh, 
placed it slightly in the wrong direction. I can do like that. Good. There we go. Then I can independently shoot off to the side. I think that this is going to conclude this episode. I will probably spawn in a fort and build it. Uh, for the purposes of this, I might actually get to work on that space board I said I would work on. That sounds like a good bet. And just to doubly make sure that this game actually saves, Season 2 is the name. There we go. And apparently this has been a hour long and 17 minute video. I just realized that. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, hopefully y'all enjoyed this. It will be split into two parts. And uh, peace, take care.